guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is poorly lit. Is this better? I feel like it's a little better. Mano. Ah. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is brought to you by Gray Skies and Candles. It is super gloomy outside today, and I love this kind of weather. It makes me want to cuddle up in bed, which is probably what I'm going to do after I film. But sorry if the lighting is a little different today. I'm trying to do more natural light instead of using my overhead light because it kind of just messes with my skin. It makes me look kind of funky. So, uh, yeah. Today's video is my what's in my pencil pouch video. Honestly, I'm gonna be real. The reason why I made this into a whole separate video is because my what's in my backpack video was way too long. So I was like, you know what? I wanna go in depth with all of this and I just don't want it to make the one video too long. So I'm gonna make two separate shorter videos. And yeah, so um, let's get into it. This is my pencil pouch. Um, I got it from Megan Rink's website called Marty and it's like shopmarty.com. Freaking love her brand. I love all the shirts I've gotten from her brand and everything. The only thing is that this bag is a little poorly made. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I'm kind of disappointed by the quality of this bag. I love the way it looks and how simple it is, so that's why I've been using it. But honestly, I am very surprised that this is what the quality of this bag is. That being said, I still use it, so I like it, but I feel like the quality could be better. And I don't know if I, mine was just a bad batch or something, or if this is something that they're trying to fix or anything like that. I didn't like contact them and be like, yo, my bag sucks because it doesn't. Like it's just a little bit hard to unzip from time to time. So it might just be my bag to be honest, but I think that the, how cute it is and the size makes up for the poorly made zipper in my opinion. One really cool thing about this bag is that there's actually a divider that goes down the middle. It's kind of hard to tell when I show it to the camera um, because there really isn't a way to show it that well um, in a black bag. Well, I guess you can see it there. There's just one divider right down the middle, so I use it to organize, obviously. So the first thing I have are all of my highlighters, and these are the Zebra Mild Liner highlighters. Um, they are absolutely awesome, and they're just so cute and like aesthetically pleasing because they're all white. These are awesome highlighters. They are kind of more faint and fair um, looking on the piece of paper, and then they don't really bleed through at all. So it looks really, really nice on the sheet, and I just really enjoy these mainly for bullet journaling because of that reason, because it doesn't bleed through, because it's not too bright, the colors are kind of muted, and I just love the way that they look. And in addition to them being just aesthetically pleasing and beautiful, they are double-sided. So each pen has a thick, regular highlighter tip, and then a skinny, um, more like pen, tip so I usually use the skinny end more than I use the other end. Also I've never had to rebuy a single color ever which is really awesome. I've never experienced that with a highlighter before but I bought these packs of highlighters probably three or four years ago. I, I think it's three because I think I was a senior in high school. So about three years ago I purchased these and I have not had to purchase a single one since. Like I haven't had to replace any of them and I use them frequently. I use them all the time. I don't like use them sparingly. So on the other side of the divider, I have all of these supplies. It's just kind of a big mixture of supplies. Um, but they all have their purpose, believe me. I have four Pigma Microns, which is the most I've ever carried in one of my pencil pouches, but I have a reason. Each one is a different size, first of all. So the tip, thickness are different for each of these. The first one I have is a 005 width, which is the smallest one they make to my knowledge. And I really love it for bullet journaling right now. I've been using it constantly and it's just the best to make really skinny, perfect lines in your bullet journal. So I've been using that one. And then the one I used to use before that was a 01, which is the next size up. It's the smallest one I found at first and then I found the smaller one. So this one's kind of been kicked to the curb, but I've used like probably 15 of these. Like I go through these. They're awesome, tried and true. And I really like this size as well. And then I have a 02 and a 03. And it's just so that I have different thicknesses if I want to like make something bold or do like a, um, a quote in my notebook. So I really love this brand. I 
love them for bullet journaling they don't bleed through they do um smear just a little bit but it's only if you like rub your hand on it right after if you like blow on it or let it dry like you'll be fine and it won't really fade at all either so really love these next i have a couple other things for bullet journaling um, in my pencil pouch and these ones are from the brand Le Pen. These definitely do bleed through more than the microns which is why I don't really reach for them very often but I do really like just how they feel, the way they write. The Le Pens are a lot thinner than the microns which is kind of hard to tell but I do like kind of a skinnier pen from time to time so that's why I keep this in there and then I also really like them because they do come in beautiful co other colors so I have this blue one and this green one and I've been using them to color code things for um, my tiny house design which I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with my Instagram or with my past videos but I have been designing a tiny home that I want to live in in the near future I think I'm gonna be doing a video about my tiny home very soon and it's probably gonna be a very long one because I have a lot of details I want to get into and talk about like my timeline and my dream and all of that so I'm gonna be doing that very very soon though so make sure you subscribe and stay up to date on that speaking of my tiny home design I used the pilot G Tech C4 pen to sketch out the entire tiny house design it's like the skinniest tipped pen I've ever used even skinnier tip than the um, Pigma Micron 005 because the Pigma the tip is a felt tip so it can like um, get broken or just widen over time. This is a ballpoint pen, so it does not get wider over time, if that makes sense. So I really, really love this. It's a lot of a like a lighter um, mark, so basically it's easier to build up. Um, and that's why I liked it for my tiny home sketch, and it was just like more like a pencil-like pen, I guess. It kind of feels like a pencil, and um, I don't know, it was just a lot easier for me to write with. Next, I have a Papermint Flare pen in the medium tip, and this is in a gray color. I have a whole set of Papermint Flares that I don't use, literally, a full set. And so I went through them and like tested them all out because I didn't know if any of them had dried up, and they all still work perfectly fine, but I just decided that I wanted to start incorporating it into what I use on a daily basis, and so I threw it in my pencil pouch and I've been trying to use it in my notebook because I do really enjoy the way that these write. I just have not been keeping up with using them. So I'm glad that I threw it in there because I've been using it. The last pen that I have in my pencil pouch is this Pilot Acro Ball pen. These ones write really, really nicely for taking notes, for writing in a journal. This is like a typical standard pen, but like elevated if that makes sense so I really really enjoy writing with it it's just not as black as all my other pens so I don't use it in my bullet journal because it bugs me when like the different shades of black are like obvious I guess but I really do like this pen shout out to Jaina for this discovery love them I also have two pencils these are my favorite they're the Papermate Sharp Writer number two and they have an eraser on the bottom and they twist up instead of being like um, a typical mechanical pencil so I really really like these these also work for um, taking tests on scantrons normally some professors don't really want you to use any mechanical pencils and are really strict about it so that's fine um, I'll usually just throw a regular standard pencil in my backpack for that day specifically but I can usually get away with using one of these on a scantron the last thing for my bullet journal is this mini ruler that I bought off of Amazon a while back it's a six inch ruler and it fits perfectly in my pencil pouch I just saw my what's in my backpack video I don't normally keep this in my pencil pouch because it like it's very scratchy um, and it's rough and so I don't really like touching it in my pencil pouch which is weird to say but I threw it in my pencil pouch today because I actually just brought my pencil pouch and my bullet journal somewhere and was planning my bullet journal spreads so that's why this one's nice because then you don't have to have a full size ruler on you constantly because that's annoying so I really like this one and then it also has a hole in it so you could use that for like drawing circles or you could um, I don't know, use it for putting it on a carabiner or on a keychain. Whatever floats your boat, you know? Ah! I forgot a pen! So this is also a bullet journaling pen. It is the Muji pen in a 0 0.5. 
in black and this is actually more of a gel pen and so that's the main reason why i don't like using it very often is because it's gel and it smears very easily it bleeds through very easily so it's not my favorite pen to use but i just like the way it writes so much so if i'm like writing a quiz i'll probably use this um and i just like how cute it is with like the foggy look um but yeah it does smear very easily last but not least I have my Apple Pencil, which I talked about in my last video, very in-depth, and then I'm going to also make another video going even more in-depth about writing notes with um, this, my iPad, and Notability. That's basically everything I have in my pencil pouch. Um, I'm honestly getting another pencil pouch very soon, and I'm going to be using the stuff pouch for different stuff, and pretty much my entire setup is changing very soon. But needless to say, I'm going to make another What's My Backpack video once I have that all set up, just because these are like my absolute favorite videos to watch and to film, and I just really, really enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and all of that fun stuff. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Or if you want to hang out with me between uploads, my Instagram is at LivyLou, and I'll leave my other social media linked down below with all the pens and pencils that you saw today. So I love you guys so much. Bye! Make sure you subscribe. Oh, eh, oh, eh, oh, eh, oh, eh. Guys, I start school tomorrow. That's wild. I haven't been in school for like nine months. Crazy.